Tuxie, are you the star of the show today? You want to thank everyone for all their well wishes? Yeah? Okay, well, let's start the show. You ready? Hi, everyone. It's a me, your girl, stays in the place, and we are back. We've got the three pups up here. Um, they're feeling a little bit better. We are going to stick to a pumpkin, egg, and rice um diet right sterling she's sterling's feeling fine but she you know she feels left out for some reason meanwhile these two little sticky poos are doing their best are you doing your best you're doing your best okay well we are going to ah we're gonna sit everyone down on this little chair back here but say hi friends and thank you for the well wishes we're trying our best Come on, find you, find you. Is it here? Oh, oh gosh, Winnie. Winnie just loves to like jump out of people's yes. arms. Really, Winnie? You can up. Hi, guys. All right, so um, without further ado, let's jump into this quick um, Candle Chronicles so um, we can make sure that we are giving you guys a fun time for Vlogtober. Um, and then we can get back to chilling, laying on the couch, and trying to get our digestive systems back together. Um, so <laughs> let's start off with, here's Dream Bright. Um, I believe we talked about this one um, in a previous episode. Um, just an absolutely beautiful Christmas scent. I feel like if you're not a huge fan of Luminous, then Dream Bright or Pure Wonder, those two might be, you know, your top scents for this winter season, but that's just my personal opinion. Um, for some reason, this crate only had five candles, so that's wild. Next up, we have Christmas Cider. Um, you may hear Winnie um, growling at the dog next door in the background, just in case you're wondering what that rumbling is. Um, Christmas Cider. You know, like it smells like an apple cider, but it just, I don't know. I'm sorry, y'all. I got to be honest, but it just doesn't do it for me. I just, I think this is my one and only one. And like, honestly, I'm, I'm going to put it in the burn or the backup pile that um, we're able to burn and do or warm, burn, do whatever with. Um, so these two are backup piles. Um, let's see. Oh, wow, I have two of them. That's a shocker. Yeah, it's still, you know, it just leaves something to be, something to be desired. I mean, it's malt cinnamon, crushed clove, creamy nutmeg, simmering cider, all the things that I would love to smell, but it's like it's barely in there. It's just, it's wild. So again, back up pile, like, mm-mm. Um, Mary Mistletoe. And this one's interesting. So this one is frozen cranberry, sparkling pear, icy peppermint, and balsam branches. It just kind of feels like a, it feels like a mix. Like this is a mixy um, candle if I have ever seen one before. <laughs> For those of you who are familiar with the term mixy, oh, uh, that's funny. But yeah, it just, I don't know. It, it's not a favorite, but I'm gonna put it on the collection shelf, so. Yeah. <laughs> um, next up, we have Leaves, a tried and true fall fragrance. Um, this is, hmm, this lid does not go with this one. And now I'm trying to remember like what lid, I think it goes with Springtime in Paris. If not springtime in Paris, then it's one of the fancy winter ones, but that's funny that it was on there. Um, but this is leaves, and it's just so cute, you guys. Like, leaves, in my mind, is like the classic um, Bath & Body Works fall fragrance. Like, if there is ever a season that they release leaves, but they don't, uh, or they don't re release leaves, like, it's going to be a problem. People will riot in the streets. Um, this one... I believe I picked this one up because I thought the little two bears um, were cute. And so I'm going to put this one on the, the collection shelf because I think that's the only one in that packaging. Um, and we'll put this over here. Um, 
Bam. Okay, and then I will pull out another empty crate for our collection shelf, just so it's easier to um, transport them after our episode. Um, and this shelving over here is the backup pile shelving, just in case you were curious. Um, but now we're going to go through our next crate. Everlasting magic. Oh my gosh. I mean, look at this lid. Oh, just absolutely beautiful. I mean, they they did their big one, as the young kids say, with this lid. I mean, absolutely beautiful. It could be a wonderful coaster if you want to risk it all. Like, you could even put your candle on it. Um, I say risk it all because, like, I just, I mean, well, I don't know. These little pieces feel kind of strong, but I, I don't know. I don't know if I would risk it all. But some people have, and it's gone well for them. So I'm just a scaredy cat. Oh, everlasting magic. It just, I don't know, it smells like it's fruity-ish a little bit. But it almost, it doesn't have spice, but it has something in it that's like, like, yeah, you might smell a little fruity, but like, it's not too fruity. I don't know. It kind of makes me think of like a little toy or something. Like maybe like, I don't know, like, or like those little scratch and sniff markers. Like it, it just brings back those kind of nostalgic memories. Um, it has bejeweled berries, phantom pearls, and enchanted musk. So I'm assuming that it's the musk that's helping to pull back on that berry scent. But it's, it's absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. This one came out this year. Um, Hopefully it's still in stores somewhere. I feel like it's sold out. It either sold out online or it sold out in the store. I'm not sure, but like it's, it's going to be tough to get your hands on this. And I feel bad because like, I don't know, the way that stores are with the seasons, it's like the items come out in July, which is like, what, two to three months um, ahead of October. And so most people, like, ain't nobody really checking for Halloween in July. But for those of, the, of people who are like Halloween lovers, candle enthusiasts, like, we're like, it's July, where are, where is the Halloween merchandise? Um, so then unfortunately for people who wait until the actual season comes, like if you walk into a store now, you're not gonna see a huge display of these Halloween candles, unfortunately. It's gonna be like playing, playing hide and go seek or trying to win the lottery. Um, so I'm just saying now that if you are at all interested, please, 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 during this, um, the current sale, like please go and pick up these candles. And real quick, I just want to show you all, hopefully you'll be able to see it, but the little skulls around the top of the glass, like the details, the perfection, amazing. And yes, you guessed it, this will be going to the collection show. All right. And we have two of those. So this one, I'm just gonna like, normally I would put it in the backup pile to, well, yeah, let me just, I'm gonna stick it in the middle so I can take it um, upstairs and so we can actually use it and enjoy it. Um, next up, we have this handsome fellow. And oh my gosh, the way that it warmed my heart to see Chris uh, from this guy's shops uh, having his uh, moonlit graveyard um, under the candle lamp that he just purchased. And I was like, yes, oh my God. It brought so much joy to my heart. Like, oh my gosh, why did it bring joy to my heart? Because I love watching his channel. And he said that he um, went ahead and purchased a candle lamp because of the, my video. And I like oh my god like total fangirling over here you know because it's one thing if like you share with people your opinion and then like for someone to you know like actually um like do the thing that you suggested and then for them to do it and it's just like I don't know I was just totally fangirling and then for him to use one of my favorite new scents Moonlight Graveyard I was just like Oh, my heart was so warmed by that. So thanks, Chris. Um, but Moonlight Graveyard, oh my gosh, you guys. Like right now, um, the Moonlight Graveyard pocket bag is um, what's in my current pocket bag holder in the car. 
Um, and so, like, if I get out and pump some gas and then I get in to clean my hands and Moonlit Graveyard is all up on there. And then when I'm, you know, whipping it around the streets, like, I could just get the whiffs of it and just, oh, oh my gosh. It's just like a beautiful, like, it just feels like you're in a, a like a ritzy cemetery where they like have, I don't know, wallflowers going on around on each tombstone or something. Like it is a vibe. I'm sorry. It sounds weird. It sounds cryptic, but like this one right here is a vibe. And if I see it for 75% off in like any form, throw it in the bag. Just throw it in the bag. Cause it is just that good. Um, here, let's see. The notes are tombstone moss, cold, foggy air, and eerie incense. I mean, it's a spooky graveyard, but like elevated to the next level. Period. Period, poo. Um, and here is the cute little top. It's a little ghosty, ghosty. It almost makes me think of like the top of an Oreo cookie. I don't know why. It just, I don't know. But you know, the funny thing was when these first came out, I was like, I'm not gonna get one like it, it's all right but I don't really care about no ghosts but y'all when I smelled it I was like oh, I'm gonna need two of those um so we're gonna put one in the collection section um and then of course I have two um so we're gonna put the other one in the backup pile and did you really think I only had two because you know I have three we're gonna put this one in the backup pile and four. And so this one is going to um, go upstairs so we can put it out on display and warm it. Um, next up, here. Okay. Ah, here we go. Um, next up, oh, turquoise waters. Oh, turquoise waters is so pretty to me. Um, it's a beautiful, like it's my summer scent. I'm not a huge like summer fruit lover. So turquoise waters is where it's at. Uh, we're gonna put this one in the backup pile because we've talked about this one before. And I'm gonna pull up another credit. Um, and next up, oh, we have toasted um, coconut eclair. We've talked about this beauty, AKA Almond Joy, but they can't call it Almond Joy because you know, trademark rules and whatnot. Um, this is one that I purchased off of Facebook Marketplace and I had started to burn it. Um, so this one we will definitely put in the backup pile. Um, so when I'm in the mood for a little Almond Joy, I can just light her up um, and enjoy that one. Um, let's see, these are wrapped. I wonder what's so special about this one to be wrapped up. Well, it's because it's another everlasting magic. Um, so I'm gonna put this one in the backup pile. I wonder if, oh, well, well, well. You know, I was kind of, I was like, wow, I didn't remember showing um, uh, Moonlit Graveyard like so much love. Um, so I was like, oh, that's interesting that I picked up like so many of them, but not more of everlasting magic. Um, so this makes, let's see, one, two, three, this is number four, and she's going in the backup pile. And I feel like it's so wild how like in my mind for some reason, like some sense I will call it a she, other ones I'll call it a he. And I have there's no reasoning behind it. Absolutely no reasoning. Um, but this is number five. I just like, the candle is so beautiful. The tops are beautiful and they have skeletons and I love me some skeletons. So, yeah. Oh, here's one, turquoise waters. This one, mm, pretty. Um, so this one I have warmed. Um, one little trick that I do is I will put like a little sticker. I think I picked these little stickers up from um, the Dollar Tree. And so I'll just put it down here on the bottom. So if I like look at it, because when I was first, I was like, what is going on here? But I think I had um, started to burn two of them. And then I was like, eh, I'd rather just warm it. And so that's why the wicks kind of look all crazy and all over the place. And I flipped it over and 
bing, that's why. Um, I think it's a good practice to like mark the ones that you've warmed. Um, you could put something like on it around the label, but then I would hate to have something and I go to just display it um, and then I can see the label and, and like my little OCD is going to bother me. Um, so that's why I usually uh, will put a little sticker or somehow mark it. And I like to mark it on the bottom. Um, ooh, cypress and amber. Mm, this one, this one is so relaxing. I don't know. I almost feel like I need to burn this one today because like it is, you know, I'm sure many of you who have fur babies and human babies are like, uh, or, oh yeah, or like, let's be all inclusive. Anyone with like any baby of any form or like living thing that they take care of, even plants, because plant babies are, plant babies deserve respect as well. Because who can't keep a plant alive to save her life is yours truly. Um, but it is just so stressful when they are not doing well because you just feel so helpless like you see them suffering I'm like I just want to make it better but it just feels like it's just it's tough so my hat's off to any of you all who are um, also trying to help heal your babies out there but I don't know y'all I might need to burn this one I need a little bit of like positivity and love um I don't know, this one smells like, for some reason I'm getting like a vanilla scent, but then also like a, I don't know, like a musky vanilla or a santal, let's see. Oh, dark cypress, smoked amber, and fresh bergamot. Hmm, maybe, so the cypress is gonna give me that woodiness, the amber, must be that like vanilla e esque scent that I'm getting. But it smells good. <laughs> that candle smells good. Um, we were gonna put this one in the collection section. Um, and let's see, what else do we have here? We have, oh, wait a minute. Ah, y'all, y'all, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Okay, I have been like looking for this crate to save my life. Wow, okay, it's crazy. Like you'll have so many candles and then, <laughs> and then it'll all come back to you. Okay, now I know what this crate is, sorry. I, okay, so I am wigging out over this crate. Thank you, like sweet universe, Christmas baby Jesus. Um, oh, this brings me so much joy. So my friend Manuela, like, I hope she's not upset that I say her name on here, but, like she and I, oh my gosh, like we are Bath and Body Works lovers, okay? And she was near one of the stores that had like the bomb diggity like SAS selection. And so um, she was like, girl, I'm going to the store. Do you want me to pick up anything? Or like, are there any candles that you were interested in? And I'm like, no, it's fine. Like, I mean, all these, I don't need any candles. Do I want candles maybe, but do I need them? No, but she kept pressing me. She's like, come on, girl, like, let me know. And I was like, okay. And so what did she do? She went and picked up all of these candles during SAS for me. And like, I am so grateful and so thankful. And I was going to do a video um, specifically on this crate. But when we were moving, I could not find it to save my life. And it was just like, oh my gosh, it was driving me crazy. And then I'm like, ah. Oh, because I was like, Cypress and Amber, it feels like, I was like, there's a reason why this is like making me, it's like making my brain tickle. I was like, this means something. And now it makes sense because then I picked up, as she knows, my favorite, Falling Flurries. Ah, even though I don't need another one, but that's what friends are for. Oh my gosh. So this one has to go to the collection, um, the collection section or the collection shelf because this one has a lot of sentimental value. So yeah, I'm gonna have to move the other one that I have over there. Um, next up is Cedar and Suede. When I tell you all, my girl got me like the best candles. Oh, this is like, 
this is the joy that I needed. Cause y'all, I was trying my best. I'm so worried about my little dogs, but I was like, we got this Vlogtober baby, Vlogtober day. Oh my gosh, what is today? Today is day seven, Saturday. Um, I was like, I gotta do it. I gotta, I gotta muster up the courage. So like, oh, thank you. Thank you so much, Manuela, for this wonderful treat. And thank you so much to the universe and the powers that be that today, just now, I just found this crate because it is giving me the life that I needed to be able to give you guys the life and happiness that I hope I'm able to give in each video. So like, if I start crying or whatever, just don't mind me getting emotional. Like, y'all, times are hard out here in these streets. And it's just like, to be able to just have a little bit of joy and a little bit of hope and a little bit of uplifting, like, oh, I'm just so grateful. Um, so this is Cedar and Suede. And this is, let's see, soft cedar, warm incense, and a velvety suede. This one was um, actually featured in our little um, uh, three-wick luminary train uh, video, making its little debut. I put on a different top, but this is the top that it normally comes with. And, oh, this one, it's like woody, smoky, but like, uh, it just has that vibe of like a new car smell, but not all the way. And that's like the suede, the suediness of it all. We're going to make up words today. Um, sorry, I'm like fighting back all the emotions. Um, but this is the candle. Look at it. Adores. And I think, yeah, but it's white, um, white wax on the inside, but like beautiful, beautiful candle. Um, <laughs> Next up is a pistachio toasted vanilla. Y'all, if you don't have this candle, it's going to be in a different packaging, but if you don't have this candle and you enjoy pistachio, almonds, or like nutty scents, please pick this up during the sale today. Please, 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 please. I implore you. Um, amazing. Like hands down, one of the best nuttiest fall scents. You can burn this one in fall and you can also burn it um after Christmas, um, it's great. I don't know if anyone else is like me or let's let that be the question. Um, well, I don't know. Okay, we'll do two questions for today because y'all know me, I'll probably forget to ask a question tomorrow or I forgot to ask a question yesterday. No, I asked you guys what you were doing this weekend yesterday. Okay, so I did ask a question yesterday, which means I'll probably forget tomorrow. But my question number one is, um, do you tend to like warm or like burn scents in like the fall, like around Thanksgiving time, but then Christmas comes and you have like a Christmassy vibe, Christmassy candles that you're more into. But then after Christmas is over, do you like, do you continue to burn those like Christmassy, cinnamony scents even in January, February? Or do you tend to notice you kind of go back to like, woodsy, foody, fall fragrances in January and February. Because, like, for me, I don't know. January and February is, like, weird because the holidays are over, but it's still winter. And, like, in my mind, I'm like, I can't keep doing all my holiday burns and stuff. Like, I need to switch it over um, to, like, something different. But it's too early for, like, my basic neutrals for spring. So... Um, that's question number one. <laughs> um, this is leather and brandy. Oh. oh my gosh. Oh, it's so good. So good. It just smells like a sexy, um, just sexiness. Okay. Just like, just like, I don't know. Oh, what is that show? Like Sons of Anarchy. Like put me on the back of your motorcycle and let's go. Let's ride off into the sunset. Like, Sons of Anarchy, right there. And if you have not seen that show, like I'm not even a huge biker person because like, honestly, no offense to the bike community, but like, I'd be like, mm, they look like little coffins on two wheels because it's just like, I don't know, in my mind, call me a scaredy cat because I am, but it looks so dangerous. And I'm like, you got your little helmet, got your little chaps and it looks sexy, but like, it looks dangerous, so. I don't know. That's just me. I'm just scared of everything, I guess. 
Okay, and last but not least, this is like the feminine version of Leather and Brandy. This is uh, pink rose and leather, y'all. I have this, um, it's more of like a mop blush color. Um, a uh, pink um, leather jacket. And would I tell you like immediately, that's what my mind goes to when I smell this. I mean, the rose is beautiful. The leather is such a perfect balance. I really hope that they bring this one back out. And this is a candle that I would probably burn in like January, February, because it's still cold, but it's not too holiday um, vibe. So thank you, Manuela, for those six, candles that we just went through like y'all when I tell y'all I feel like those six were like the best of the best for from um fall and Christmas of 2022 I said it it is what it is but I said it um okay so we have six more candles to go through vivid emerald back at it again with <laughs> it just I don't know for some reason it smells like pencils to me it's, it's just, I don't know. It's like pencils and sandalwood. Like those are the immediate things that come to mind. But this one, we're gonna put it in the backup pile. Get on there. Okay. Um, let me, sorry guys. I need to move this other candle into the middle because um, it's like when they have these thick lids, then they make the crate uneven. Um, okay, there we go. Uh, <laughs> another one. Y'all, I mean, they were 75% off, you guys. And y'all know I love me some sandalwood. Like, for some reason, I just love pencil shaving scents, I guess. I don't... Another one. <laughs> what was that? Was that two? Oh, yeah, that was two. Okay. Um, three. I'm like, I wonder if this is like my little SAS pile thing that I have going on. Four. Yeah, I definitely need to burn and get through these. Okay, last candle. I'm thankful that this is not Vivid Emerald, but not sure what it is. Let's see. Oh, Hanoki Wood and Lavender. I feel like this one was slept on when it came out. You definitely get the lavender. The Hanoki Wood, like, I'm not even up front with y'all. I'm like, I don't know. I don't know what that is, but it smells good. <laughs> I don't know, so this one, you definitely smell the herbiness of the lavender. The Hinoki wood doesn't really give me a like a wood wood kind of scent. Oh, wood wood, wow. Um, this is calming Hinoki wood, fresh lavender, and a hint of coconut. I think now that I've read it, I can smell the coconut smell. No, no, this one, again, like this one to me is a nice neutral to have for like January, February, and even into March. Like, it's nice. It's pretty. It's it's not as good as pink, um, pink, <laughs> where are you? Pink rose and, uh, pink rose and leather, but like, it's, it's pretty good. I, I like it. I like it. Um, if it came out again, I would probably, I think I would pick up another two. Um, just because it's just an easy like neutral scent to just put in the air on a day that's like it's chilly but it's not cold like great scent um but in my mind it, I just automatically go to like a spring time so yeah nah, Hanoki wood and lavender um so my second question as we are wrapping up here um is do you all have um, someone who's like your person that you're like, girl, they got these candles on sale or like, oh, I just went and smelled these candles and blah, 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 blah. Like, do you all have candle partners in crime like I do? Because <laughs> sometimes I'd be like, mm, my candle friends are going to get me in trouble. But nah, we here for a good time, not a long time. <laughs> I am a mess. Um, but yeah, I hope that you all are having a wonderful weekend. Um, today is like college football day. 
Um, so I'm gonna go upstairs and try to make like, I don't know, some nice little snacks to just munch on to help me get through the day and so the kids can, um, oh wow, they're all laid out over here. Here, I'll move, maybe you can see them, I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, so I can just like chill and enjoy the day and lay up with the pups. Oh, look at those little babies. You guys, this is the chair that they're um, usually sitting on if they're not up here on this little shelf desk. Can you say bye, guys? Bye.